Chronic Enteropathy in Canines, Prevalence, Impact, and Management Strategies. In this review, we are looking at chronic enteropathy, a group of diseases that originates from the gastrointestinal tract and are characterized by signs such as vomiting or diarrhea that last for more than three weeks. Different treatment trials are used to treat these dogs, starting typically with diet first, then treatment to modify the microbiome, such as antibiotics, and finally, immunosuppressive. In some cases, dogs will not respond to any of these modifications. Although chronic enteropathy is extensively studied, we have little information on how prevalent the disease is, or in other words, how frequent it is. Another question is how good we are at treating the disease, and mainly in the long term, as most studies have followed dogs up only for a few weeks after treatment. There is little data on how frequent chronic enteropathy is in different parts of the world. Most studies are from Europe and Japan with a prevalence of 1 to 18%. However, it's not possible to determine how many of these dogs are presented with acute signs or chronic signs in most of the studies. Also, an exact figure is not available for how frequently chronic enteropathy is a cause for an animal to be euthanized. Data from Europe, Northern America, and Japan suggest that gastrointestinal disease is often in the top five cause for death. Hence, at this stage, we are lacking at good data to answer the questions on how often dogs present with chronic enteropathy in general or referral center and how Frequently, this is a cause for euthanasia in dogs. The next question is how long do dogs respond well? There is more data available on how long dogs respond to a given treatment. Also, in short studies, all treatment arms seem to give you similar results, majority of dogs responding. The picture is different for studies over a longer duration. After six months of treatment, most dogs that responded to diet are still responder, whereas most dogs responding to antibiotics as modifier of their microbiome or immunosuppressive are not responding anymore. In summary, also most dogs seem to respond well in the short term, only dog responding to diet do well long term, which brings the question on how to improve this uh, outcome. So, where do we go from there? Other options to alter the microbiome include pre and probiotic. These are bacteria or food for bacteria that can be given by mouth to reset the dog microbiome. As reviewed in this article, there is currently too little information to say if probiotics works well or not. An alternative that we're interested in is a method called fecal transplant. We use a feces of a healthy donor and give it to a dog with chronic enteropathy. There is currently no literature looking at this modality in dogs with chronic enteropathy. These options are likely to replace antibiotic treatments of dogs with chronic enteropathy in the near future. 